We have arrived. Good morning and welcome to this episode of Superior Angling. I'm super excited today because number one, it's April. We're out here on Lake Superior in the boat, but number two, we've traveled to quite a, quite a long distance in search of lake trout, spring lake trout. They are not the easiest fish to catch. I mean, that's first and foremost, April can be tough. But when you have, kind of my theory is when you have structure, and structure can be like a, a shoreline, like we're fishing up against here today. It can be a reef, it can be islands. You are gonna have some lake trout that move extremely shallow. That's my theory, and I've caught them in the past, and we're hoping we can put a program together today and kind of teach you guys how to, how to you know, attack and, and target lake trout in April because it's not easy fishing. Yes, there's so many fish that are really deep right now in pretty much inaccessible water, 200 to 400 feet, because our water temps are 34, 35, 36 degrees. But right next to shore, and we found a pocket of water that's 40 degrees, it's a little bit warmer. And my theory is that there's gonna be some lake trout that are way up here in shallow water. We're talking eight, 10, 12, 15 feet. So that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna start off doing, trolling mono with stick baits in really shallow water and see how it goes. If we troll for two hours and not, we don't get a bite, we're gonna have to change things up. This is gonna kind of be a, a run and gun day until we get something figured out. We have to put a program together. I have no insight, like I've never fished a spot this time of year. Like it's just all my theory, but we're gonna teach you guys as we go along and hopefully there's gonna be fish here. Stick with us, it's gonna be a good one. Okay, we have our planer boards out. Again, shallow diving lures is what we're gonna, um, kind of our, our first plan of attack on these lake trout. So we have um, a mix of Smith wicks, uh, a reef runner out, some Brad's baits, you know, those four and a half, five and a half inch um, lures out there, about 120 to 150 feet behind our planer boards. Very clear water, very shallow water. So you wanna definitely utilize planter boards, like our gator boards right now, we're getting these baits way far away from the boat, and then we send them back behind the boards a long ways as well, because in clear water like this, sometimes those boards can spook fish. So um, it just gives you a little bit more confidence into uh, having that kind of stealth approach. So um, we have six rods out. We're gonna long line two as well. Um, and hopefully hopefully see what, uh, see what we can find. But we're definitely, since we're coming on no information, I honestly don't know if there's fish here or not. We are definitely have to use our available technology. So we have side scan on our Lowrance and we have our Garmin live scope. We're definitely gonna get that in the water to help us observe and collect more information, whether there's fish here or not. So, I mean, you can fish this for an hour 
and if you not get bit, you know, you can obviously think there's no fish here, but usually utilizing your technology that kind of double checks your, your, your initial theory. And if you don't see anything on side scan and live scope, I know that there's nothing in here. So then we have to, you know, start working our way deeper because we're starting as about as shallow as you can get. And if we don't catch fish, we're just going to continue to move deep until we do catch them because I know that there's fish deep. So let's get this technology set up and in the water, get our live scope set up, and hopefully we're going to see a fish before too long. All right, here on our side scan, we have it shooting out 100 feet, and I can, we went up on a little hump, and I can definitely see those big boulders off here to my right side, which is cool. It's kind of a, a, little, a little rise, a little underwater point, and I can see those boulders. I don't see any fish on it, but this is kind of what you want to be paying attention to is side scan and live scope. Um, live scope, we're going to probably be having shoot behind and forward in front of the boat to see if we spook any fish or if anything follows up on one of our long lines. But side scan is definitely a good tool. And there's no mistaking a, you know, a 30 to 40 inch lake trout on side scan. So we're gonna be, keep our eyes glued to this until we start getting bit. And uh, yeah, hopefully before too long, we're gonna, we're gonna see something. So we have water temps that, you know, 38 degrees right next to shore here. It was 40 back there, uh, but out in the main waters is about 34 to 35 degrees. Fish right there on the long line. Unreal, the long line. As soon as I start talking about how you need to use planer boards and get your lines away from the boat, our long line goes off. But I know it's all because of this lure. This lure is hot. I love it, man. Pure speculation, a theory that you come up with in your mind over the winter when you're dreaming about getting out here. And in the first 15 minutes we hook up in super shallow water, you can't ask for much more. Feels like a good fish. You know, over the past couple of years, this theory came about because mistakenly, when I'm fishing salmon and brown trout, I've got a couple big lake trout that are super shallow. Like you guys know that you fish browns really shallow this time of year. So I'm like, well, let's just go, let's specifically target lake trout in really shallow water to try to get some of those bigger fish that do move up into five, 10, 15 feet of water in April. I mean, it's cold out. We have our striker Denali suit on with the insulation. It was chilly this morning, 32 degrees. I mean, it's, <laughs> this, is, this is intense fishing, but it's so exciting because no one else is out here. Like these fish haven't been targeted. No one's been down the shoreline since, you know, last fall and anything can happen. That's what I love about Lake Superior. Anything can happen. All right, Kevin's grabbing the the musky mig from RS Nets. I don't know how big this fish is. This is on my downrigger rod, this long line right behind the boat. We put this reef runner. It's a 700 series, big white bait, back about 120 feet, and that didn't take long at all. We're gonna get a look at this fish here pretty quick. All right, so there you guys can see my mono leader, high vis. I like it, it's easy to see. And this fish is right on the bottom. I mean, it's, I have a 30 foot leader here and it's only 15 feet of water. So this fish is right down there. It's gonna pass the boat here pretty soon. We're gonna get a look at her. There she is. That's a big fish. It's a good fish. Yeah, there we go. Yes, I love it. That there is an awesome fish. That thing fought like a bulldog, man. If people say lake trout don't fight, come catch them in the spring in cold water like that. That's not even, I don't even think that's a 15 pounder. It's getting up there, but it fought like a mule. My heart is racing, my adrenaline's pumping. This is what it's all about. Coming out here and just on a limb doing something different. Pure speculation. That's what Superior Angling's all about. Let's get this fish in the boat and get a good look at her. Look at this fish. That right there, guys, is what it truly is all about. A solid lake trout well into that 13 pound range, maybe 14. But look at, look at that bait, just choked. That's a 700 reef runner, big bait, big, you know, wide wobble on it, big profile equals large lake trout. I, I'm so excited right now, that is so awesome. He just choked that bait. What a fish, what a start to the day. Let's get this beauty back. I think that there's gonna be more to come for us. There she goes with spunk back down into the cold water. That water's freezing. Oh, that's unbelievable. I can't wait to see what else today has in store for us, but that's a heck of a start. 
on a big, big intimidating water where these fish could truly be anywhere. And we catch one, I love it. <laughs> it's crazy, it's the exact same lure that we just got hit on about a half hour ago. Just whacked it. This is a big fish, good head shakes. Bringing it in slow, but the shallow water, 20 feet, just crushed it. Oh, it's just dead weight. This fish is just digging straight down. He does not want to come off bottom. Oh, good head shakes here. Okay, so here comes our leader. Starting to see him come up here. What a there fish. He is. There he is. Neutral cap. Neutral that. Oh. Not huge, what's a good fish? What a fish. Oh, man, that thing put up an awesome fight. Oh, what a fish. What a beautiful fish. Probably 13, 14 pounds. Put up a heck of a good fight. Shallow, super clear. Just a beautiful fish. Total speculation today and hit the exact same lure as we had before. What a fight. Gorgeous. Here it is. That's two fish on the same exact lure in a very similar location. We were maybe, I don't know, a two tenths of a mile away from that first fish, but uh, we're starting to put together a pattern. Unfortunately, both fish came on the same lure. I say unfortunately because I only have one of these. I have about three or four of every other lure in the boat, but just one of these. But hey, we're gonna take it because we're starting to put together a pattern. I think one fish is a fluke, but two fish, you're starting to get onto something. So hopefully we're gonna see that third fish here and the day is young. Our sunny skies, starting to warm up a little bit, get the blood moving, get some fish in the boat. We're feeling good. Again, this it's a 700 series reef runner, big white. You can't go wrong with that. Just putting it back straight behind the boat, 150 feet or so, fish on. There you go. Inside board just went off. This is our first board of the day that we've had a fish yet. Corey, can you get my board for me? Thank you. There we go, just me and the fish now. Just put this lure out. This feels like a good fish. Big head shakes, look at that. And he is right off the back of the boat. We have this fish in the back of the boat. It's a good fish, but there's a, there's a storyline behind this, because as Kevin said, we just changed up this lure and it did not take 10 minutes to get hit. So um, we'll do some talking. We're talking about that lure selection and why we chose it when we get this fish in the boat. This we, guy is heavy. Yeah, it's a big fish, buddy. It's a big fish. This guy is heavy. He is straight down off the back of the boat. Yeah, they don't want to come up. All these fish today have been just straight off the back of the boat. Well, they're so energetic in this cold water. They put up a heck of a fight. Just Dude. lively. Here we go, we're gonna see them. So the re one, I'll give you a little hint. One of the reasons we put on this bait is because it has a wider wobble. That reef runner that's caught those two first two fish, really wide wobble. A lot of the other baits that we were using, like the Bomber Long A Smithwicks, are a little bit tighter compared to that reef runner. So we put on a lure that has that wider, slower wobble to it, and within 10 minutes it got bit. Like I said, I don't have any more of those 700 reef runners, but we found something else that's gonna produce. That's a good oh, fish. Oh, that's a beauty. That's a big fish. That's a beauty. That's a beauty. And he is just so much spunk. These fish are just something else. Lake trout, I tell you. So strong. Here he comes, Grant. Get him. Oh, we got him. Awesome. Look at that fish, buddy. Awesome. Give me some. Fish. Nice song. Huh? This is a nice one. That's a big one. So yeah, Grant, you want to... <laughs> There's some... Holy That's a cow. dinosaur. That's this a dinosaur. This is a nice fish. That's a dinosaur, buddy. What a fish. We're out here today. April, calm seas, catching these big trout up in the shallows. 
I think we were only in 30 feet of water when we caught this one. And uh, yeah, what a day it has been so far. Three big fish. I don't know, this is in the teens at some point, this fish. For now, we're gonna let this girl go. All right, this is the magic bait that got bit. Previously, we were running baits. So these are like Bomber Long A. So it's a little bit tighter of a wobble. It does not dive very deep. So a little bit tighter, higher in the water column, did not get hit. We ran, you know, we had seven, eight of these out. You know, like a Yozuri, again, shallow diving baits, did not get hit. So that Reef Runner 700 series, it dives a little bit deeper, maybe 14, 15 feet, 150 feet back. Um, it's got a wider wobble, slower, wider, wider wobble to it. So we put on one of these Phantom Lures makes it. I don't recall the exact name of this bait. I'll drop it in the comments below, but it has a little bit bill on it. It's going to get down there 15, 16, 17 feet, and it's a slower, wider wobble. So um, that's, I mean, that's the only thing that's similar about those baits. So that kind of tells me that these fish want a bait that's a little bit deeper in the water column, a little bit slower of a wobble um, versus something higher up in a tight wobble. So sometimes slow rolling big baits like this makes a lot of noise. Um, it just gives those fish, you know, maybe they think there's an extra opportunity to, be, to eat it because you are going a little bit slower. It's moving a little bit slower. It's not as intimidating and it's getting down a little bit to their level. Every fish we've caught has been in 20 to 35 feet. So we're not super shallow, but we're deep enough, you know, that we can run baits like these and not snag up. Um, and these fish are definitely shallow in the grand scheme of things. When there's a lot of lake trout out in the main waters that are two or three, 400 feet, there's big fish in here going. And we've seen three of them now. Those are all fantastic fish, well over 10 pound range in here in 25, 35 feet of water. That's awesome. We're gonna get some more of these out and hopefully put more fish in the boat. Look, uh, five, six good fish. I mean, it's totally worth it. It's totally worth it. There she is there. Again, not a, not a giant by any means, but hey, that's a solid, I don't know, five, six pounder. We'll take that any day. That's still a special fish in itself. Beautiful colors on that one. Beautiful colors. Yep. Perfect. Yeah, spunky fish. The ice cold, this water is just 37 degrees. This wind coming offshore has made it colder as the day goes on, which I don't think is helping our bite, but we're still putting some beautiful fish in the boat. And again, that's on that same phantom lure, different color, but again, it's, it's that bigger wobble. You just need a lure with a bigger, big, slower wobble. Anything, you know, bright and fast and tight is not working for us. So this one's got the hooks and the gills there. So this might be a good dinner fish. That might be a good dinner fish. Yeah, I don't know, four, four or five pounder. Not bad, not bad. We're starting to get it together. A bit of a, a lull there, but it's starting to come together and these fish are starting to, uh, we're starting to get them figured out. So I love it. Inside door. There he is. Oh, this one feels good. All right, I'll grab your board, buddy. Here we go. You like a good one? It does feel like a good one. This is a mere four minutes after I just got that smaller five pounder. So in the same spot, we did a loop, came back through, and there's fish holding right here on the shoreline structure. There's a nice shelf off of this point, drops off to 40 feet, but the shelf is 25, 30 feet, and that's where all these fish are. Off camera, we lost one as well. So there's fish here. We finally found a good area with a concentration of fish, and now we're just gonna keep going through them. Not bad fish at all. There we go, it's in the net. Barely hooked, it nice just came fish. up. That is a nice fish, buddy. Awesome. That is a nice fish. It's starting to heat up, this is getting fun. It's been fun all day, but it's really getting fun now. A lot of action, another, you know, just solid five, six, seven pounder, spunky up here, shallow water. This is such a unique bite. There we are, there we are, awesome. And look at guys, this is on that same lure that was on the other side of the boat. So we have two of them out there. This is another pink lemonade. Same exact lure got hit, you know, within five minutes of each other. So that tells you something. We got them dialed in. The fish that are here, they, I mean, we have what they want out there. I mean, that's right there, that's the lure. Again, I forget the name, but we'll drop it in the comments below when we can look up the name of it. Another solid fish, buddy. I love awesome. it. Let's get it back. This time of year, 
you know, April through middle of June, I prefer to use stick baits versus spoons. Yes, you can have success on spoons this time of year, but you know, year in and year out, I just, my confidence is in stick baits or crank baits, whatever you guys want to call them, but you know, longer four and a half, five and a half inch baits. To me, they tend to uh, just outproduce spoons you know, whether you're fishing it right in the immediate Duluth area for salmon or trout, or, you know, out here where we are today for lake trout, um, just kind of all around stick baits and crankbaits seem to outproduce spoons. For what reason, I don't really know, but you can just kind of assume that, you know, early season like this, the smelt are in abundance, um, the herring are up shallow. Um, we, you know, a couple of lake trout that we saw today were puking up a little, little, I don't know if they were like, run of the year smelt or shiner minnows. I don't know what they were, but um, you know, your lake trout definitely seem to be focused in more on kind of the minnow style versus a big flashy spoon. There's a fish, long line, right there. Awesome. This fish are in such shallow water. The water's 37, 38 degrees. They're so spunky and they put up a heck of a fight. This feels like a good fish. Feels like a good fish. Ironically enough, on the reef runner, which got our first two today, and it's gonna probably get what might be our last fish here as the, the day winds up. By no means do we wanna fish till dark, and I always say that the, my favorite time for lake trout is 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Once you get to that three, four o'clock, it just slows down. So as we approach that four o'clock hour, we are going to uh, pack things up and, and head back, but I wanna get this fish in the boat. It feels like a good one. But fun day we've had here as we get this fish close to the boat. There's not a ton of fish up in shallow yet, but my theory was correct that there are fish that go shallow in April. And there are fish, as you guys have seen, not tons of them, but there are quality fish way up shallow. So maybe if you're looking to try something different, you know, find a edge of an island or a rocky shoreline and just troll super shallow with stick baits and you know reef runners and those phantom baits that we've been using and you know, who knows, maybe you can stick into a, you know, a good fish like we have here today, but that's, that's fun. It's just fun to try new things, test out a theory. Uh, you know, you sit there all winter wondering if there are fish shallow in early April and, you know, come out here and try it and what do you have to lose? I mean, very, very well could have come out here and not caught a fish. That happens quite often. Or you can come out here and catch a ton of fish. We were kind of right in the middle of that today. It wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. So I'm happy with how we did. This fish feels pretty good. I want to get it in the boat. We're going to get a look at her, get her released, and probably head back. That's a nice fish. Grab the old Kelly Island here. Go, my baby. Oh, we barely got her. We barely got her. Look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. What a day it's been out here on Lake Superior catching oh, big lake trout. That's a good fish, man. That's a good fish. Look at that fish, man. That's a beauty. That is well into that 12, 13 pound range. We've now seen four big fish like this today. I would consider that a success. What a day we've had. Oh, I'm, I'm speechless. That is so much fun, man. So much fun. It's a change of pace, trying something different, trying something new, and you intersect with a bunch of big lake trout like this. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.